Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to create the illusion of form at, by showing you how to draw a cone, a cube, a cylinder, and a sphere. So you're going to need a ruler, a piece of paper, pencil, and an eraser. You want a nice sharpened pencil because that will probably help you with your ruler. And I'm going to start with a cylinder. A cylinder is round has rounded sides and flat top and bottom it's like a soda can so I'm gonna draw my cylinder vertical standing up but you could draw it horizontal and you're gonna start with two vertical lines however thick you want your cylinder to be you put these lines closer together if you want a skinny cylinder farther apart if you want a wider cylinder the bottom of your cylinder is just a curved line that curves down and out and then the top of your cylinder the same line that you did down here you'll do up here so they match but then you do the reverse so you curve up to get an ellipse shape a football shape pointy on each end if yours is more rounded on each end that's okay but more pointy is probably what you're shooting for the next thing is a cone like an ice cream cone and I'm gonna draw it upside down so you're gonna start with your ruler and draw the top of a triangle and you want to make it as wide as you, as you like so you can make it wider or skinnier and then the bottom of your cone is the same as the bottom of your cylinder a curved line for a sphere it's just a circle so you might want to get a circle pattern for me I'm gonna use this masking tape and you're just gonna draw a circle now it doesn't turn into a sphere until you add some shading or some hatch marks or you turn it into like a basketball or a baseball with some curved lines on it but if right now it's just a circle in order to make it a sphere I'm going to add some curved hatch lines hatch marks shading on one side of the sphere and you want these lines to be curved and not straight because that creates the illusion of a curved surface and we know a sphere is a ball and it has a round curved surface and then the hardest one is a cube and I didn't leave myself a lot of room here so I'm gonna flip my paper over and show you how to do a cube on the back you want to start with a square and remember a square has four equal sides so you want to draw two lines that are side by side the same height but you also want to pay attention to this width in here too if the width is too wide or too skinny then it's not a square remember it is four equal sides four sides that are the same length so you can eyeball it or you can ask me for a square pattern I can give you a tag board pattern that you trace around but when you draw it on your own you have control of the size of square that you draw. If you use one of my tag board patterns you might not have the exact same size that you want. And then you're going to draw three diagonal lines from each of three of the four corners and you're going to draw them all going the same direction. So I'm going to start up at the top and I'm going to draw a diagonal line that goes up and to the right. Go to this corner up and to the right. And this last corner a lot of people make a mistake and go down and it is up and to the right again. So see how these three lines are exactly the same up and to the right diagonally. And then you close the ends of them off with another straight line. And you wanna make sure that this line is parallel to this line, that you don't make it angled, that it's straight up and down and lines up with that. And then with the line going across, the same. You wanna, you want it to be parallel to the top of the first, the square that you drew. And that is how you create the illusion of form, which is basically taking a 2D flat shape and turning it into a 3D form by curving the tops and bottoms or adding some um, curved hatch lines or drawing the side and top of the flat box. Good job.